Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial that was requested. This is a makeup look that I've done, um, that I had on in one of my videos. And one of my sisters asked me to do a tutorial on this look. So I'm going to be using the You Can Be palette that I got from um, Shein. And I'm going to be using the greens here. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using. This palette was very inexpensive. It came with 18 brushes. Um, it was only like, I think, $18 or something like that. So I'm going in with my foundation first this time. I don't always do it this way, but it was late at night and I figured I had a little time. My family was asleep. This was the day after Thanksgiving. So I said, I'll go ahead and do this tutorial really quickly. So I'm a little tired, but I wanted to make it work. So I used the Juvia's Place uh, foundation and now I am going in and I'm doing my brow and I'm just using a dark brown um, eyeliner pencil. This is just like a very inexpensive dollar pencil, but it works very well. It doesn't even have a name on it. And it does have the pencil sharpener on the end, which is very handy. And I do like this inexpensive pencil because I like the color payoff. Um, a lot of times when you're using pencil, over top of foundation it's very difficult to get um, get color on it so uh, most people do their brows before they put foundation on but um, I you know I just decided to put my foundation on first because I wanted to kind of get through this tutorial because it was really late it's probably like one o'clock in the morning so here I am just outlining and defining my brow to make it look more full and now I'm going in with a spoolie brush and I am merging and incorporating the color into my brow hairs so here I'm doing the same thing on the other side I sped it up a little bit I am actually just outlining my brow first that's the way I like to do my brow I like to outline it first and then I like to fill it in so here I'm just uh, merging that color into my brow now I'm going to go in with the MAC Studio Fix Cream Concealer in color um, NC42. And I like to use this particular concealer for my eyebrow and for my um, eyelid base because I, I've been doing it for years and I haven't found any concealer that gives me the full coverage on my eyelid because sometimes your eyelids can be a different color than the rest of your skin. So I like to use this because um, it does a great job as a base to my eyeshadow and my eyeshadow stays all day once it is set and it also gives me um, great coverage and it blends really well and it lasts all day. So this is the Max MAC Studio Fix Cream Concealer. This is an old school product and when you have something that works guys you just don't change it. I've tried others and um, no, nothing compares to this particular concealer so I'm just using what's left over on my brush to kind of outline the top of my brow um, you don't want to go overboard with highlighting the top of your brow because you don't want to look weird um, so you want to make sure that you blend that in so now what I'm doing now is I'm going to define my brow hair strokes by lightly going into the brow with this Ruby Kisses tattoo eyeliner in uh, dark brown so I'm just showing you how I'm just defining the hair strokes because the hair strokes can sometimes get lost um, under that color that you filter brows in sometimes it can get lost I don't always do it but um, I get a lot of compliments when I, I when I outline my, br my brow strokes like this so it kind of gives that micro blading look now I am going in with just uh, a translucent powder just to set that base that I did on my eyelid because I don't want my eyeshadow to crease. Now I'm showing you guys the palette. As you can see, there's a, uh, there's a multitude of colors. I, I don't remember how many colors you get. I need to check that out. But I am starting off with this, uh, this matte pink. And I'm just using that as a transition color because I plan to put on like a pink lip gloss. So I wanted everything to kind of like match even though I'm using green. You don't have to use this pink you can use like a soft light brown that matches you know your skin tone maybe we just go up go up a shade but you want something really soft um, in the high part of your crease so now I'm going into this light green and what I'm gonna be doing guys is I'm gonna I'm gonna make like a gradient effect meaning I'm gonna start off 
with um, a lighter color and I'm going to work my way down to the darker color um, in my crease. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just starting off with that lightest green and I'm blending it into that pink and as you can see that I'm using the same brush I was a little uncertain about that because it was turning like a gray <laughs> so I was like ah, I don't know I kind of think I kind of messed that up but when it comes to makeup guys it's all an experiment just keep going just keep trying um, you can always wash it off it's not that serious and sometimes that's you know that's just how you learn you have to make mistakes to, to figure out what to what not to do the next time all right so now I'm going in with a darker green and I'm blending all those greens together. As you can see, I'm using the same brush. Now I'm going in with a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm using that shimmer green on my eyelid. Now you can also do this as a cut crease if you want. Um, like I said, that's this it's really late. So um, I just wanted to show the colors that I put on my eyes so and how I got this look but you can always do a cut crease here which will probably make that that eyeshadow pop even more um, this eyeshadow is, is really a, a great palette for such an inexpensive price so now I'm going in with a dark brown just to deepen the the outer V a little bit and now with those same colors I'm taking the, the green one of the darker greens and I'm just outlining the lower the lower part of my um, eyelid okay because you want the entire eye to be encased in green and this would be a great St. Patrick's Day look um, it's just something that I just looked at the greens and I thought it was pretty and I wanted to put it on so now I'm going in with the L'Oreal liquid eyeliner and I'm kind of winging the eyeliner out and I'm going to do that on both eyes. I'm going to wing the eyeliner out. So you have to pull your skin, at least I do because I'm a little older, so I have to pull my skin tight so that I can actually create that line. Okay? So that's what I'm doing. That's the reason why I'm pulling the skin so I can actually get in there and make that create that that line. Now I'm just going in with some mascara here so that when I put on my falsies, my false eyelashes, it can have something to adhere to. Now those are some eyelashes from my website um, that I'm going to be putting on. And here I'm putting on the Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay um, Concealer. Um, this is their new concealer that they have. It's called uh, Quickie. It's called... I can't see it. Anyway, it's called Quickie. So... It's some high ass concealer they sell, so it works pretty good. I'm always trying different products to see, um, you know, if I can find the holy grail of concealers because I'm older and concealer is very important to me because I stay up late, I wake up early, so I need concealer, honey. So now I'm just blending that in with a sponge and then I'm going over that with my same brush that I used to put on my foundation to blend out my foundation and the reason why I do it that way is because you know I don't want any lines of demarcation I want it to be a smooth transition from the from the light to my foundation color and now I'm going in with the um, Patrick Star one size um, what is it the one size foundation it's a um, powder foundation and you don't you can actually wear this on your skin without makeup you can wear it as your foundation but I like to use it as um, as my, my setting powder but I have worn it without um, any foundation and it's great so now I'm putting my, my lashes on and what I always do guys with my lashes I let my lashes I put my glue on my lashes and I let them sit so that the glue can get a little tacky before I actually apply my lashes because I know sometimes lashes can be a little tricky so I like to let the glue set and get tacky first so I can have a little more control now I'm just going into my waterline and that's just the L'Oreal um, eyeliner pencil in black I'm going back into some Patrick Star one size I have three different shades I have one shade for my highlight I have one shade for my skin and I have one shade for my bronzer 
so this is the shade that I use for my bronzer it is um, it is dark I think it's dark six I'll put the color the color will pop up on the video but I love I love love Patrick stars powders I love them there's a lot of powders that I switch between and I tried a lot of different powders but I'm telling you I've been consistent with this Patrick star um, I love the color I love the way it applies and I love the way it blends out so I'm using that same eyeliner pencil that I use for my eyebrow I'm putting it on my lips it's multi-purpose guys that's the thing about makeup sometimes I'll take eyeshadow and put eyeshadow on my lip just to give it a nice highlight so you don't have to always use makeup for what the purpose is for, for what you can use it for different things so this is the final look i hope you guys like it so yeah i think this is a great look for like saint patrick's day or just any day enjoy guys happy holidays and thanks for watching